I'm not even tired. Where are you? <laughs> I always love watching it grow. I'm like a two year old. How long do you think I can do this for? Forever. It's Abby and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, if you couldn't tell by the title, I'm gonna be sharing my tips and secrets and techniques and tools on how to get the perfect voluminous blow dry. So I hope you guys like it. I don't know, I've just kind of been obsessed with like straight hair lately and when your hair is straight, you gotta have volume where it just doesn't work. Everybody wants voluminous hair. So I'm gonna be showing you uh, how how it's done. I'm collaborating with Pro Beauty Tools on this video, so I will be sharing their blow dryer, which is super sleek, lightweight, dries the hair really fast, and it's really affordable. I think you guys are really gonna love it. You're going to need a concentrator nozzle. Most people just throw this away when they get their blow dryers. Don't do it, it's like one of the most underrated little gizmos ever. So we're gonna need your concentrator nozzle, and then we're also gonna be using a thermal round brush. This is a two and a quarter inch round brush, and uh, I think that's it. So without further ado, make sure to subscribe below so that you don't miss any future videos and let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna let our hair either air dry or blow it out about 80% of the way and then add your products. This is Redken Anti-Snap, which is just a great leave-in treatment for damaged hair. It reduces breakage and provides an added heat protection. And then I'm throwing in some caviar cream. This is one of my favorite products right now. It just adds a lot of moisture and shine to the hair just makes it feel super soft and healthy so this one goes all over and then I'm spraying in some Aveda volumizing tonic this just helps build body and add shine and then last but not least I'm using the Kenra platinum thickening mousse just to lift the roots and add body to the hair now that we have our product in and our hair is 80% dry go ahead and clip the hair from the ears on up just to get it out of the way and we're going to be working in sections so take a section of hair a good rule of thumb is that it should be the same size as your brush so make sure that the section is snarl free and then lock your round brush into place underneath the section and now you're going to take your blow dryer with the concentrator nozzle attached and concentrate hot air onto the hair near your brush and as you can see I'm not really rotating the brush a whole lot except for at the ends so you'll rotate the brush to keep tension on the section and then when you get to the bottom if you want a rounded look you can start rolling the brush under just a little bit and then I actually use the neck of the blow dryer to hold the section in place while I reposition the brush and you just want to make sure that the hair is 100% dry before moving on to the next section okay so this next section as you can see I'm just locking the brush into place and then pulling it down the hair shaft and I'm just heating up that hair I'm not really rotating my wrist a whole lot except for when I get to the ends for a more kind of rounded softer look and then once that entire layer so all those sections I divided mine into three once they are all the way dry you can go ahead and release more hair from the clip and then just continue working through those sections so if you don't have too many flyaways go ahead and shoot some air up to make sure that the root is drying with some lift in it I'm actually avoiding this because I have a lot of frizz right now with all of my baby hairs so as long as you're drying the root first you're definitely gonna have some really nice volume in this hairstyle after heating the hair up you can take the cold shot button and just shoot some cold air onto the section and it's just gonna set the style a lot better and like I said earlier, this blow dryer is from Pro Beauty Tools. You can actually find it at Target, and you guys, it's seriously under $40. It's such a good deal. It's got a really beautiful, sleek design, and it has a matte rubberized finish, which is like a no-slip grip when you're styling. And it's got a high-powered airflow, so it's going to save you time on drying and also expose your hair to much less heat and damage and frizz, and it's really light, which I love. So make sure to check out the description box for more information, but this little guy will make an awesome present over the holidays if you're looking for one. When you get to the top layer of hair, instead of slicing the sections parallel to your part, we're gonna start in the back and slice them perpendicular to the part. So this is just gonna add extra lift to the hair. I 
I always like to add an oil after I blow dry my hair because it just smooths down any flyaways and really just adds a pretty shine. So make sure that the oil you use doesn't add any weight to the hair or you'll lose that volume that we just created. So this is the coconut oil from Suave. You can pick it up at any drugstore. And then I'm taking my Kenner 25 hairspray and just lightly spraying it all over. And this just adds texture and bounce into the style and sometimes I like to just spray onto my fingers and just kind of distribute some product with my fingers to smooth down any frizz. And then one last spray to give the hair some soft texture and you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you have any questions about the techniques or tools or products or anything that I used, make sure to leave me a comment um, down below. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just kind of obsessed with like how soft and voluminous this hairstyle is. I just love running my fingers through it. There's no like teasing or anything in there, so it's just soft and I don't know, kind of sexy looking. So anyway, I hope you, that you guys try this and that it works and that you just feel super amazing in it. So anyway, we'll see you guys um, next week for a new tutorial. I hope you guys have a fabulous week. Bye.